Hi everybody, my name is Dan Berkowitz and I'm currently the Cardiac Anesthesia Division Chief and I would like to introduce you to your Cardiac Anesthesia Rotation. We hope that everyone will learn a lot about Cardiac Anesthesia. Uh, we're very excited to, to have you and to teach you some Cardiac Anesthesia. The reason that we're doing this video is um, because we don't want you to panic about coming to the cardiac operating room because we know that there are uh, many things that are new to people and that the setup might be somewhat different from the general uh, operating room. And in general to make sure that you have a good experience and that you enjoy yourself and learn a lot about the cardiac anesthesia specifically. So thank you. Hello guys, my name is Slava Barotka and uh, welcome to the cardiac rotation. I'm going to show you some small tricks on how we actually set up the cardiac room to make your life easier. So the first thing in the morning you come, you check how anesthesia techs set up a way stuff for you. And we have a little bit uh, small details. So this is 8.0 and the tracheal tube. And that's a standard tube we put in every man and woman by definition. If you expect that the patient is going to be intubated more than 72 hours, you will go for subglottic suction into it, also the biggest one. All right. The other stuff we have always to make sure we have uh, basically OG tube. We always suction the stomach before we put TE probe in every patient. The other unique part is these two stickers. It's called cerebral oximeter. We put them on a forehead and connect to this machine, which will give you the numbers during the case. Alright, so once you set up the anesthesia machine for check, you know, you go for the drugs. So we use basically same anesthesia drug with small differences. Most attendants will prefer big stick of uh, uh, fentanyl, 1000 microgram, 20 cc. Prepare 10 cc of midazolam. Now we tend to use much less between 2 and 5, but some attendants won't stand. Prepare a stick of propofol. We use it very minimal amount, usually 50 to 100. Not every time, have it available. For neuromuscular agent, vecuronium, drug of choice for us, 20 cc. One of the most important drugs for cardiac anesthesia is heparin. The reason for that is because we need to anticoagulate to go on cardiopulmonary bypass. It comes in 10 cc vials from the pixies, it's 1000 units per cc. We usually draw it in a 60 cc big syringe and we draw four vials. So you have 40,000 units of heparin ready. In addition to that, you always put extra four to five vials in your, in, in your car so it, you have it available to reduce if needed. So the other important drug is to have ready vasopressors and vasodilators. For vasopressors, you know, you have your standard phenylephrine effedent. On top of that, you want to have a stick of calcium, 20 cc. Also, you prepare a stick of vasopressin, one vial, 20 units diluted in 20 cc, one unit per cc, right? And then important to have epinephrine available. For epinephrine, you need to prepare two sticks, 100 microgram per cc, and 10 microgram per cc. As you can see, the standard small vial from Pixis, one milligram, 1,000 microgram. You dilute in 10 cc, that's your concentration, 100 microgram per cc. You dilute it 10 times more, 10. Have both syringes available before start of the case. Now, for uh, va va vasodilators, our standard we prepare for every case is nitroglycerin, right? We usually go either 50 or 25 microgram per cc. This is how we do it. The actual vial which comes from pharmacy as a five milligram 12.5 syringe. What you do is you take standard 100 cc back, remove 12.5 cc and put all this five milligram into this. What you end up having 5,000 microgram divided by 100 cc, 50 microgram per cc, and you just drew a syringe, either 20 or 10 cc. That's what we prepare. The other important drug for cardiac anesthesia is beta blockers. We have to give it every single cabbage patient. 
every single one. The way we do it, either patient can get PO in a pre-op before coming to the uh, operating room or with induction you give them like one milligram of metoprolol. The other unique drug for cardiac surgery is Amicar. We give it after we give the uh, heparin and we dose it according to patient weight. You give a bolus and then you start infusion. For the boluses you prepare 20 cc syringe. The table how to dose it is available on the side of the Pixis machine. So now let's go to the drips and talk how we set up the drips. For the drips, you order drips in POE the night before. In the morning before you come to the room, you just stop by pharmacy on that floor and they will have ready a bag with all the drips you ordered ready for you. So the standard drips you have to order in every single patient is epinephrine Amicar insulin and then answer will go right here. So for the pumps You want to have two pumps with eight channels at least six channels, right? So this is a standard way everybody should be spike the drip in this way Epinephrine Amicar Insulin and the carrier insulin goes through the blue tube on the bottom you have answer and then at the end of the case propofol goes here now the all concentration is standard except one drug if you need to order norepinephrine not in every patient but some surgeons would prefer this then you go to cardiac concentration which is 8 milligram in 250 cc bag the standard for ICUs is 16 in 100 so this is a cardiac big bag 250 cc 8 milligrams the other unique part about cardiac anesthesia is this thing, it's called buttons. We do it for cardiac surgeons. It's actually very useful for us too because we mount our transducers right here. Also, you see this hook, this is where we put our uh, pacemaker. We have to have it in the room in the morning before we bring the patient, every single case. Also, what is unique, this is a uh, elbow pattern. So we'll put it basically around the elbows. The reason for that is to prevent ulnar neuropathy because the arm of the patient is going to be tucked during the case. So we don't use arm bolts. Now let's talk about the monitors. So we come with a patient to the room, transfer to the bed. We attach our standard ASA monitors. Then while the patient's still awake, you put cerebral oximetry so you get the signal. Then we'll do under sedation and local awake arterial lines. Once arterial line is in, we go to sleep, we put 8.0 and the trichal tube. We suction the stomach and we put a TE probe. After that, we are ready for central line. We put patient in turned elbow and go for central line. Our standard lines is double stick. One is cordis, 8.5 French cordis and we connect our warmer so we can give blood products or fluids warm in a high fashion. The second line is 16 gauge single lumen. That line is for the purpose to connect our drips. Through the cordis we put a slick in every patient unless we put swan guns catheter. If you put a slick we connect it to CVP. We can monitor CVP and we give boluses of drug there. Now, on this side, you see our TE machine. We know the whole setup is too much, so don't worry about it. The anesthesia attendant or fellow will be in charge of TE. You're welcome to look at the images, but probably during your first months, you will focus on the patient and the workflow. During second months, you will appreciate what we see on TE and learn some stuff. I hope this video was helpful to you. I wish you fantastic rotation. Thank you very much.